All right, we are here with the owner of All Around Strength, uh, Katina Karen. So welcome, Katina. And Katina, I, I've been waiting a very long time to do this interview because we had in a relationship back in the day, you were a member of the gym. Um, and I, I, we actually had a coaching relationship back in, in the day. I think it was good night, like 12 years ago. <laughs> and I, it was a lot, it was a while ago. And, you know, I could kind of reach out to you because I don't feel that I have many, like many God given skills, but I think one of them is like, I have the ability to just see potential and drive, you know, and I had a lot of evidence with that because of how you executed your own nutrition. So I just always had felt that, um, that you would just be like an awesome coach. You've kind of been in the industry. Um, so I was like vehemently like reaching out to you. you know? <laughs> and it's, it, There's always like that, that journey to becoming an entrepreneur that is so scary. So I, I, I just want to know how did, how did you break through that fear and be like, you know what, I'm not getting any younger. I'm going to launch all around strength. This is going to be a successful coaching business. I'm going to change lives and make this happen. Mm, to me, it didn't really, it wasn't that big of a, um, of a jump. Um, I trust you, Jesse. I've worked with you. I knew you um, well. Um, and then when you showed me the whole entire team um, that just kind of wrapped their arms around me, um, that was absolutely uh, wonderful. It was just a natural move for me, quite honestly. Um, like I said, I've been in the industry for years. So, um, and then when you showed me all of the tools and resources that uh, you have already created, your team's already created, um, gosh, it was just a natural move for me. Gotcha. Gotcha. So the, the, <laughs> it just kind of felt, it came off natural and you felt yeah. good about it. So now, and how long you've been coaching 60 days, 90 days? Um, I believe it's about 60 days now. Yeah. Okay. With you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So talk to me kind of about that journey. So like, you're like, Hey, all right, cool. I'm, I'm in, you know, head first. Um, how were, how was the journey kind of into launching all around strength and like client acquisition and things of that nature? Um, I guess because I've already been in the fitness industry um, with uh, the clients, I've always had people who have sought, um, I don't want to say sought me out. I don't mean that that, that sounds kind of no, you know, no, no. I, egotistical, I, I, but um, they, they've known my journey. Um, and uh, I worked in a gym. I managed a gym for years. So uh, I have a lot of relationships with fitness minded people. Um, so it's been, it's been pretty easy. I hate to say, yeah. <laughs> I hope the role continues. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> I love that. So I think a lot of, a lot of coaches at their core, I think they're just afraid because maybe they've tried to coach by themselves before like on their, yeah. on their island or they've tried to do something online and you know maybe they did like the post and pray and then nobody came you know they put a post right. out now accepting clients and maybe nobody came I think that's a big fear that uh, a lot of coaches kind of have when they're looking at a system yeah. um what what would you say to, to some of those people like I mean how in your opinion kind of going through the, the system the last 60 days um, would you say to them to kind of alleviate that fear if you're, if you were coaching them? Yeah, I would say absolutely. There's nothing that I haven't found that Macromillionaire doesn't offer. So, um, whatever it is that I need or, um, you know, I'm looking for, or maybe I don't even know I'm looking for it and, and come across it and know that it's going to, um, impact a client's life. Um, that's just, I don't know. It's so hard. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I get, well, you know, we, we talk a lot about a decided heart, having a decided heart. Right. Yes. Know? And I feel that, you know, that you've always just have a decided heart. Like you're going to help other human beings reach the pinnacle of fitness or reach success in physical fitness. Do you know what I'm saying? And I think that that is what's driving you to, to see success and I think that we talk to a lot of people where their heart truly is decided. Like they want to help people get healthy. They want to help people get, get uh, fit, but then it's just kind of clouded in fear. You know, it's just kind of like, yeah. they, they live in the what ifs, you know, they're not like, Hey, what if I help 
50 people and this creates time and financial freedom for myself. That's one what if. They're thinking of the what if, like, what if nobody hires me? You know, what if nobody comes and gets into my system? What if, you know, Uncle Bob says, you know, small businesses don't work or, you know, Aunt Jane says, you know, being online won't work or, or whatever. So it's kind of like breaking down some of those barriers. Yeah. Um, and, and kind of exposing their heart to be more decided. So is there any advice that you would give? So say I'm a new coach, I'm looking at the program. Maybe I've even tried coaching before and it didn't work out for me. What is something that you might say to them to get their heart to be more decided? Gosh, I just think those, um, I just had a conversation with one of my clients the other day and she said they basically the same thing. What if I fail? I said, let's turn that around. What if you don't fail? <laughs> right. right. <laughs> you know, uh, what if it does work? So I just kind of try to counteract those, those questions with, with the opposite. Um, so I, I don't know. I say, take a moment, um, listen to your heart and follow it. Yeah. I love that. So. Awesome. So in closing, what would you say is the number one resource that has helped you and your business grow that macro millionaire provides? I would say the mindset training. Um, yeah, absolutely. So for me as a coach and for my clients, I've been able to help them overcome fear, um, provide them with information on how to create their identity. Um, so those are the biggest resources because it is more of a mindset than yeah, I can, yeah. you can physically go lift a, you know, a dumbbell or you yeah. can, you can make a, a healthy meal, but you have to have your mind right first. Yeah, one hundred percent. This is probably one of the most impactful books that I've read in a while. Um, yeah, you, you know this because we've been doing the daily sprints and trainings on it. But the John Maxwell's fifteen, the fifteen invaluable laws of growth, and he talks a lot about the law of the lid, where we have these false beliefs that we've been domesticated by, and that's right. why we don't play to the level that we are created to play at. So absolutely, yeah. yeah that, that's super cool to hear that you really value the mindset training. Because I think a lot of times people come in, they're like, oh, cool, I work out app or oh, cool, meal plans and grocery lists. And, you know, all that, those tools are definitely, they can definitely okay. help. Service. But I think if we're not opening our mind first and growing to our capacity, then all those tools are useless because we won't have clients to use them with. You know? Right. Absolutely. Love yeah. it. So if anyone wanted to connect with you and uh, maybe just ask you a few questions, how can they find you? Um, on Facebook, um, you can find me under All Around Strength. On Instagram, it's All Around Strength as well. Awesome. Well, Katina, I appreciate. I know your time is uber valuable because you've got a lot of clients to take care of. So, uh, thank you so much for your time today. And I just know that there's a coach that is probably on the fence of. of stepping into greatness, helping other humans that is going to listen to this and be like, all right, hey, if she can do it, I can do this. So thank you Absolutely. so much. Uh, I appreciate the value today. All right. Thanks, Jesse.